actually see you, I can't see you actually right now, like this moment, but there have been times, there we go, I can see you, and, uh, and I recognize that you are still standing even during the super bummer part of our set, like, pretty amazing, you're like, you're like, I feel the knife going in, Of their beers also above their heads, like I like, I can, I, I just can't imagine. And I like how you're, it makes me think of like when I was like 16 and I would get drunk at my friend Jessica's house and I would, we would put records on her parents' stereo and everyone at one point would just be so drunk, all we would be doing basically is like swaying and holding onto each other in front of the speaker. Like we would be like, oh. and like just, I don't know if you should tell that story. Why? 16. A little young. I mean, real talk right now with you. Um, I am, I am 29, and, and I admit that there there are times when I see 16 year olds or 14 year olds at our shows, and I think, my God, when I have a 14 year old, it is going straight to a teenage prison camp when it turns 14. Not because I don't think that the 14 year olds are awesome, but I do not want to deal with that disaster when I am a parent. I just don't. And my mom always says to me, she always says, you're not going to feel that way, you're going to love it, and it's going to be puffy and kind of mean and saying mean things to you, and, and you still love it and want to feed it and stuff. That's a direct quote. But, um, I just, right now it is just so hard for me to imagine that. I just want it to go away until it's like, mm, 20. Mm, 22. And then it comes back and it's awesome. It's like the awesome, it's like an awesome 22 year old kid. It has a job, it doesn't live with me. But before 14, I mean before 14, before 14, um, sorry I just got so distracted. It's so sweet that you're so enthusiastic, but it does kind of throw me off my train of thought when you call it. Because I can't tell if you're like, I'm going to shoot you, or if you're like, your bottle looks terrific. Like, I don't even know what you're saying. Anyways, I have no, no idea why I started talking about that, except to say that those of you who are standing and you're doing it so well, uh, we are now entering again the part of the set where people might all want to stand up. You might just feel like you want to get up for a minute. The blood flow move, just, just, you know, give it. Think of it, think of it like you're like on hour nine on the airplane, and it's just time to stand up before a blood clot. 